I've recently been learning quite a bit of C++ and I've been performing a lot of study on the whole subject. Now, when I was learning C++, learning how to read files, do encryption and other things like that, quite a few different things were rather tricky to do and many of them involved quite a bit of complicated work in order to make them work effectively. So basically here what I've decided to do is just to make a library that makes all of that easier and that should compile under most different sort of environments. The library consists of one header file, which is a list of all the functionality like the RC4 encryption, the T cipher, base64 encoding and decoding, binary encoding and decoding, hex to, you know, you know, string to hex and hex to string, and of course file functions. Now I've split all of this functionality up into different files so that you can of course mess around with them and you know and you know do whatever you'd like to them. I've split them up into different files so they're more manageable and all that. And basically here I'm going to go through on you know how this can be useful to you. Now let's say for example you wanted to read a file. Let's say we have some secret information we don't want anyone to see. Something like this. Now what we'd want to do is we'd want to make sure that data is safe by performing an encryption. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the read all data from file function to read, of course, all of the actual data from the file. So you can reference the header file to get an idea of how this is going to work. We're going to do read all data from file and the file name will be in.txt and then we're going to do and then we're going to dump the data from the file to a pointer and we'll call this one dit. Now what happens now is that any data that we send, you know, that we read from the file will of course end up in this pointer where we can delete it and manage it and other things. So we'll test this really quickly. And just give it a second. And you see here it compiled just fine. Now now that we've read data from the file and we want and we can actually of course um address it using the pointer, we're gonna go ahead and perform a very basic sort of encryption. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go and we're gonna use the RC4 cipher in this situation. RC4, it's not RC2, encrypt. Now, this takes several parameters. We're going to use pointer data. Now, I'll explain very briefly what's happening here. In almost all of the functions, or I should say all of the functions of part of this library are void types. They don't return data. The only way you can actually get data from these functions is to, of course, assign that data to one of the uh, variables in that you're actually sending to the function. So in the cases of RC4 encryption, we're sending a, you know, of course, the uh, output we want. So, for example, we're sending data to it, and we're asking it to replace the data with the ciphertext. Now, what we're going to do next is that we're going to write this information to file. So we do write data to file, and we're going to call this one out.txt. And then we're going to put the. Sometimes errors do occur whenever you try to do this type of stuff. It does take a little bit of messing around. There we go. Sometimes you do need to use a double hash or something in that um, neighborhood. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up. We're just going to run the application, which will just run. It will encrypt the data and then hopefully it will close. Now what we are left with is our ciphertext, which is effectively here. You know, this, like the ciphertext is a representation of this in a scrambled form. So this is just a quick demonstration of my development library that I've been working on. And for full disclosure here, I have not written most of the code involved in this project. 
however I've acquired resources and all of that that I think are, you know, that could be useful to people learning C++ and people who are interested in it. I have modified some of this stuff, like for example the file functionality, I've um, sourced it, referenced it from a uh, page that I saw online a long time ago and I've of course adapted it to be easily u usable and of course useful. But I hope that this video provides you guys with a very basic understanding of how this development library works. I will either post this on GitHub or make a release of it somewhere else, but yeah. I think this is a um, just a very a video that will give you guys access to functionality that you can use, you know, in a rather simple fashion. Now, I do hope to in this library implement the Ringdell cipher or advanced the advanced encryption standard to provide sort of a very easy sort of encryption for people to work with. However, that's to be honest, a little bit on the horizon and it would probably make the u using this library a tad bit more complex. However, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I f you know, think it's in just important that I show you guys this and currently the only compiler that I know that will work with this library is VS2012 x86 and it works with x86 and x64 so you should be able to compile it for pretty much any system. Again, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and that's all.